Hi friends, in this video we are going to solve a problem based on three phase circuit. So, let us see what the problem is all about. Each phase of a delta connected load consists of a 50 milli Henry inductor in series with a parallel combination of 50 ohm resistor and 50 microfarad capacitor. The load is connected to 3 phase 550 volt 800 radian per second AC supply find phase current, line current, power drawn, power factor, reactive power and KVA rating of the load. So, let us see how to solve this problem. They have given a circuit which is contained in delta and each phase of a delta consists of 50 milli Henry inductor in series with a parallel combination of 50 ohm resistor and 50 microfarad capacitor. So, this particular structure is nothing but one phase of delta connected load. This L is 50 milli Henry, resistance is 50 ohm and capacitor 50 micro farad. The first job, let us calculate ZPH for this load. For that, I should know what is XL, XC. So, let us calculate XL and XC first. So, XL is omega L because they have given omega 800 radian per second. So, XL will become 800 multiplied by 50, it is a milli Henry, hence 10 raised to minus 3. If you solve, you will get XL equal to 40 ohm. Similarly, XC. So, XC is 1 upon omega C. So, it is 1 upon 800 multiplied by 50 microfarad, hence 10 raised to minus 6. If you solve, you will get XC as 25 ohm. Now, see here, here we are just considering the magnitude of XL and XC, but whenever we calculate the ZPH, we should consider phase or consider this as a complex number. What does that mean? Whenever we calculate a ZPH by using a series and parallel combination, make sure that this XL will be like this it is a J 40 ohm and this X C will be minus J 25 ohm because we have seen that for the inductive circuit reactance repeat reactive part will be positive and for a capacitive circuit it will be negative. Now, how to get ZPH? So, ZPH will be series combination of inductive reactance and parallel combination of R and capacitive reactance. So, ZPH equal to J 40 plus we know how to get equivalent of two parallel resistances or impedances. So, it is R multiplied by minus JXC divided by R plus JXC, but plus if I consider it is having minus J operator with it. So, it becomes 50 minus JXC where XC is 
25. So, I will write it once again. If you solve this using a calculator in complex mode, you will get ZPH equal to 22.3607 at an angle 63.43 degree ohm. So, this is ZPH and angle of ZPH will be power factor angle phi. So, once we have calculated ZPH, rest of the part of a problem will be easy. Now, in second step, what you have to consider? What type of load they have given? Before that, one very important thing. Whenever in a problem voltage is given, that voltage is by default line voltage. So, here 550 volt is a line voltage. Please remember this for a three phase circuit voltage given in a problem is always a line voltage. So, here 550 is a line voltage. Along with this what else is given? They have given it is a delta connected load. So, I will write over here, it is a delta connected load. So, what is the first step? Whenever we know line voltage and what type of load is connected, we can establish a relationship between them. Because we have seen for a delta connected load, phase voltage is same as line voltage. Hence, I can say phase voltage is also equal to 550 volt. Why this phase voltage is required? In order to calculate phase current. So, phase current is nothing but phase voltage divided by phase impedance. So, it is a 550 divided by 22.36 0, 7. I am just considering magnitude of ZPH. So, if I solve, I will get IPH as 24.5967 ampere. So, phase current is also known. If I know phase current, I can get line current. For delta connected load, we know line current is root 3 times phase current. So, if I substitute the value of phase current, I will get line current as root 3 multiplied by 24.5967. After solving this, I will get line current equal to 42.6028 ampere. Once again see the steps because almost for each and every problem we are going to follow that. Line voltage will be given from what type of load they have given from that you need to establish a relationship. We know for a delta connected load phase voltage is same as line voltage and for a star connected load phase voltage is V L upon root 3. So, right now V P H equal to V L. So, once we know V L what type of load is connected, we can get V P H. From V P H, Z P H we have already calculated, I can get I P H which is a phase current, simple Ohm's law, V divided by Z. So, it is V P H upon Z P H, I will get I P H. Now, once I know I P H, I can draw a relationship between I L and I P H. For a delta connected load, I L equal to root 3 I P H, but for star connected load, I L is same as I P H. So, I will get I L. So, in this problem, I L is 42.6028.
let's calculate all the powers now now power drawn is nothing but active power p so p equal to 3 vph ipH into cos phi so p equal to 3 times vph we have calculated or it's given as 550 ipH we calculated as 24.5967 and cos phi we calculated as 63.43 so if you solve I will get P power drawn equal to 18.1531 kilowatt. Let us find out a power factor. So, power factor is cos phi equal to cos 63.43. So, the power factor I will get 0. 4473. How to determine its nature? ZPH angle we got positive. So, whenever we get impedance angle positive, that circuit is inductive, and for inductive circuit, power factor is lagging. Let us calculate reactive power Q equal to 3 VPH. IPH sin phi so equal to 3 into 550 multiplied by 24.5967 multiplied by sin 63.43. After solving this, I will get Q as 36.2984 kVAR kilo volt ampere reactive and finally kva rating of the load s equal to 3 vph into iph so what i will get s equal to 40.5846 kva which is the required answer. Thank you.